welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do a full 3D carving of this one, a little dragon, into a beautiful piece of mahogany. And it's the first real 3D carving that we're going to do with this fully upgraded 3018 CNC array. So the first thing I'm going to show you, because I haven't seen one person on the internet that is showing anything about these uh, 3018s, how to correctly hold down a piece of material with the claps. They're all sort of up like this, and they've got washers and this, that, and the other. The correct way of doing it is you have a piece of material that's the same height as the material you're going to to machine and you have the clamp in this manner okay so most we'll the fingers and thumbs let's see if I can do this up okay so what you do you start clamping down firm like that and then just screw that down that takes it a little tighter so you cock this end up a little bit and that should be down biting into the material now that is not going to move it's not going to work loose with uh, vibration it's going to be fine so now we're going to put the tool over the center and I'll show you how to find the center uh, when you haven't got a very very sharp pointy tool to to do that. This is a six millimeter two flute M mill uh, which is set up now in this 300 watt spindle or router motor and we're going to set the zero zero at the job which is in the center of the material. So we've got it going quite quietly. This is um, 500 millimeters a minute. In actual fact, what we'll do is we'll take it up to a thousand. A little bit faster. So now we'll slow it down again. So to alter the feed rate, let's just come here and select this. So we're going to go to 100. So we'll go down, go down quietly. And I've got it on continuous, so as soon as I release, it's going to you know, sort of uh, stop immediately. I've got it going very quietly now so I can get right to the center there. So I'm just going to take it down a little bit further. There. I'm going to take it forward a little. Now, I can see that in the Y direction, that's pretty well spot on. Maybe a little. Turn. So if you turn the tool so that it's sort of facing north and south, the cutting faces, you can actually quite accurately determine, yeah, well, that's pretty well in the center there. I think I'm going to go slightly wrong direction this way just by turning the tool one direction or the other you can determine that yep well within sort of half a millimeter which is fine I'm in the center So now I'm going to 
zero. Okay, let's get a bit of paper. Now I will make a little tool to actually do this job electronically. That will probably be my next upgrade, but you can very easily do this job just by slipping a piece of paper underneath and very quietly bringing it down, or bringing the Z down. Just trapped it there. Just you can just move the paper without, you know. Is it's like a, a a weak well, it's like a magnet on there. Okay, so that's pretty well on the on the surface of that material within a couple of thousandths of an inch. There's no need to go any sort of more precise than that. So now I'm going to zero the X, Y and Z zero and make this the work offset. That's the, the start of the job is called the work offset. The machine home is over in this corner here. So the program that I'm using for this machine is Gerbil. It's also uh, called Candle and it is produced by in the Inventables. It's a free, free program. You can download it from the Inventables um, YouTube channel. So what we're going to do is zero the X and Y. So that's this one here. Zero and then the Z. Zero. So you see this line up here is the work coordinate or the work offset. Okay, this line here is the machine coordinate or this is how far that we are away from the machine home, which is the, the front left hand corner of the table. So now all we've got to do is load in the candle um, the roughing cut of um, this little job. But first of all I'm going to raise up that's enough and um, then I can load it up. Now to load it up it's fairly simple. Okay, so let's load up our first file. So go to file, we go open. And storage device. And there's our first one there. And it's in. So now we can set our little router going on its first 3D adventure.
and there is the finished 3D carving 